for the performance testing right so <clears throat> uh till now you have uh, heard about the jmeter and all these uh, tool to do uh, load runner and to do the performance testing right but yeah to some extent we can use the rest assured to do the uh, performance testing right so uh, let's quickly see so this is a small topic okay <clears throat> uh okay so just a note here uh, that uh, the whatever the time we are getting here is the http round trip that you hit particular api and you receive the response plus the time rest assured took for to process it right so it adds a bit of few milliseconds to the uh, response so the performance will may not be exactly what you are looking for uh, ex uh, exactly but yeah every tool took that particular uh, process time to actually process the uh, uh, calculations right so but yeah we can get a fair idea about that right very simple in that so i simply took a long object and i hit this particular api and just dot time it will give me the time in milliseconds okay and just i'm simply suss out that particular time so let's quickly run this particular case <clears throat> i don't know today my system is running a bit slow uh, so battery is 3% so maybe that is that uh, reason why uh, test case is running a bit slow but yeah let's leave that thing so 3796 so this is in milliseconds okay so this particular api round trip plus some process time took 3796 so if you run this repeatedly time will change every on every hit there will be a different time but yes on a multiple hit you can get a fair idea about how much time your api is taking right so let's go to the next topic and uh, here we can uh, same case again but we can define in what uh, uh, unit you need that particular time like in this case i am uh, getting in milliseconds so by default uh, rest assured will give you time in milliseconds only this is the default case right but here i am specifically saying that i need in milliseconds okay so let's see what are the different options dot okay so days hours uh, microseconds milliseconds minutes nanoseconds okay so uh, let's select the second in this case right and uh, let me run this particular case come on <clears throat> so la last time i think at the time is 3 4 something right 3 second 4 3 around 3 and a half seconds right so this time it's 2 point something right so it rounded off to 2 seconds right so this is how you can use and in the last one uh, see this is the beautiful assert we have used here that uh, you hit this particular api and uh, in the response uh, uh, i am just verifying that the time should be less than 500 milliseconds if it is more than 500 milliseconds so just fill the keys right so this is a good one so it should get filled because every time we are uh, it's taking two seconds right so i think it should get failed because the apis are same Okay. Assertion failed, right? Okay, and the reason is okay. Uh, not less than five hundred. It took three seconds, right? So okay. So to pass this case, let me add four hundred. Four uh, four four seconds, right? 
so again so uh, it should get passed this time so this is very simple you can do some kind of performance testing uh, using the rest assured right and uh, in the third example we have seen how to do the assertions right so this time it has been passed right friends so hope you enjoyed this particular session and uh, uh, in the upcoming session what i am planning let me check my index so the upcoming video will be on the response spec builders and uh, okay these are some specification builders in the rest assured very helpful in your if you are planning to create the automation frameworks we will see some how to do the logging uh, part in rest assured then handling some SSL TSL certificate issues and other thing and object mapping serialization deserialization different different things right so just stay tuned to, to this particular uh, channel and I hope I'm going to upload the next